Active at Live CD supports extensive customization of the user desktop, and these changes can be saved to a USB device and restored in the next boot session. For example, Live CD comes with the Quipzilla web browser pre-installed. However, you can easily install the Mozilla browser. First, we open the application called Apper. Within Apper, we do a search for the word Mozilla. The Apper search engine is case sensitive, and Mozilla with a capital M and Mozilla with a lowercase m are two different things. Once we have found what we're looking for, to the right we click the word Install, and then we click Apply. And now the Mozilla Firefox browser has been added to our Live CD. And we can verify this by clicking Applications, Recently Installed. There are a variety of customizations I can make to Active at Live CD that then get saved to my USB drive. For example, if I want to change something on my desktop, such as my desktop wallpaper, in the upper right hand corner I will click Desktop, then Folder Settings. I can then select a different image as my background, or click New Wallpapers to find something else. I will select Stripes and click Apply. Now you can see that I have the Stripes background on my desktop. Now let's change something else. Let's add a folder. I have taken several screenshots to create this video. Right now those screenshots are in a folder called Pictures, but I would like to move them to a folder on my desktop. To do this, I will open up the Crusader File Manager. And on the left hand side, I'm already at the desktop, so I will go to File, New Directory. When the new window pops up, I will give my directory the name of Screenshots, and then click OK. I can now double click the Screenshots folder on the left and open my Pictures folder on the right. On the right, I will select my images, and I will drag them over to the left. Now these images have been placed in the Screenshots folder on my desktop. If I would like to verify this, I go to my desktop, I double click the folder Screenshots. All customizations I make to my Live CD will be saved to my flash drive, so the next time I boot up with my Live CD flash drive, those changes will still be there. You can learn more about Active at Live CD by going to www.livecd.com.